Hi, I'm Leslie and I'm building out my camper van all by myself. Yes, it's a 2016 Honda Odyssey EX, so not fancy, which is fine because I don't need a big electronics package. And speaking of the adventure vehicle part of it, I also decided that I was going to add a roof rack. Now, there's a number of reasons for this. Number one, I want a badass roof rack to look cool and take this minivan to badass level, okay? I just don't want to look like I'm carrying around, you know, a bunch of soccer balls in the back. I'm not, okay? I'm going to go have fun adventures in this thing. So I need a cool roof rack. Number two, of course, the roof rack is going to come in handy because it's going to carry, number one, I know it's going to carry the kayaks. Now, when I had the truck, it was easy breezy. We'd throw the two kayaks in the back of the truck and we're off. Easy. But now with the van, yeah, maybe we could fit the kayaks in the back. But once it all gets built out, I don't want to throw wet kayaks in my, you know, luxurious hotel room. No, no. The wet kayaks are going to go on top on the badass roof rack. So the first thing was to to put a roof rack on this thing. I did not have a roof rack on it when it came. I didn't even have the rails, you know, those north and south, the front to back rails. So, what, so a couple of things I'm going to say about that. First thing is I did a lot of research on which rails to get. And although there were a ton of people saying, always get the original manufacturer's equipment. It just makes life so much easier. Everything's going to be measured perfectly. Everything's going to go on the way it's supposed to. Yes, it's much more expensive, but it's worth it. Did I believe this? <laughs> no, I didn't because I was wooed by the deal. Oh, I can get the same roof racks for a hundred dollars less. Yes, I'm getting those rails. So I did. Or did I find out? Yep, they were right. I caused myself a lot of heartache trying to install those roof rails because there are bolt holes already established in the van on the roof and those holes weren't lining up properly or the, the rails weren't lining up properly with the holes in so, uh, on one side. One side was perfect. It went in, you know, no problem. The second side took me three hours to install. Three hours to install one roof rail because there were so many little parts, little bits and pieces where things just didn't light up and I had to take it down and I had to drill out and expand some holes. Thinking back, yeah, should I have spent the extra money just so it would go on? Boop, boop, boop. You know, yeah, I probably should have. So that's my advice. Next thing I did was I looked at the at the, the rack part of it, right? The, go, the across, the east and west. And what did I see? Well, nothing produced commercially that was right for me within the amount of money I wanted to spend. So I measured how wide a space I needed to put two kayaks on side by side. And I came up with some real inspiration. People are out there doing it and they are geniuses. <laughs> they are real geniuses. There are people who are making roof racks out of pieces of aluminum that they have in their backyard or an old boat trailer or some piece of some equipment that somebody gave them. I don't have that, okay? I don't have old boat trailers laying around that I can just cut out pieces of aluminum and now brilliantly use them for roof racks. I can't do it. So I wanted to figure out what I could use, what I could go buy, what material can I go purchase? I came across one from a company called, I think it's called Flexcraft. I'll double check. I'll put the link in there. But they, it, brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant because it's, it's square tubing perforated. Just what I need. Exactly what I need because I'm looking for options for connecting whatever, not just kayaks. I might want to uh, lash a roof basket up there. Or I might want to throw some luggage. I, you know, who knows what I'm going to want to put up there? I don't know. But it would be so great to be able to have options and I can just lash things on there as I need. So that's what I did. Uh, yeah, I think it's Flexcraft. And not only that, but on their website, they have some a lot of inspirational photos about how people have used their stuff 
and one is this really amazing kayak rack that is out, just outstanding. This thing is outstanding. So I said, man, here's validation that you can use it at, for a roof rack. So I did. So I installed the, the perforated tubing and I put on a couple of other accoutrements on there, like some eye hooks on the sides so I can use those for lashing things down. Bolted the whole thing down with some U-bolts and I even covered it. Uh, this is still an experiment. It's exterior pipe insulation. So I have no idea how it's going to hold up to hauling a couple of kayaks up there. If it falls apart, whatever, it was 15 bucks and I tried. But it beefs out the whole, the whole look of the roof rack, which I love. And second of all, it just allows some cushion there in theory. It allows cushion so they don't bounce around up there. So that's what I have going on so far. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to talk about getting into the build on the interior and where I'm at so far and where the whole thing's going. Thanks for stopping by.